Um, I've got Phil from Muse on the uh, line with me for a, a live interview. Phil, congratulations. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I feel like I should have uh, dressed up a bit more even, actually, you know, looking at your uh, um, backside, but thanks very no, much. No, dis dis disappointed you didn't, but um, obviously <laughs> a, big, a, a big shock to have won. What's the secret to your success for the uh, fit-out, do you think? Um, I think there was a huge uh, amount of sort of care and attention to detail that went into the scheme. You know, we had, we had a great team and... Um, you know, we analysed every single aspect of it for us in terms of, you know, we really wanted a scheme that reflected us as a business and what we're about. You know, it was really important to us, you know, the, the, the offices for our for our staff, um, you know, to enjoy and to, to make their working lives better and easier. Next, who uh, was successful for the up to 1,500 square metre projects. David, congratulations. Thank you very much, Ian. That's great. We're really excited by the, uh, the award. And um, what's it meant for the uh, for, for couch base? Because I think taking that basement and turning it into something really uh, hitting, if that's right, what's it meant for the growth of the business? I think it's amazing that um, I'm, I'm actually sorry, I'm, I'm ADT workplace, David. Um, I just that I'm a representing couch base. David and Verity are both with us, which I wanted to, um, to hear as well. Um, the I think it was the collaboration for the work that was done um, for 35 Bell Street by Helical um, and working with Atelier, the architect, on restoring the building and then also working with our design team to to bring together a, a beautiful old basement that was going to um, work for a tech-based business in the northern quarter. Ronnie from Tombola on next. Uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, from Ryder Architecture. <laughs> no, it's good to know who I'm talking to in terms of client or architect. Uh, yeah. yeah. In, in terms of the, the, the inspiration for the scheme, because I think what, what struck us was just how aligned to the culture of the business it was. Um, yeah. How do you think you managed to achieve that? Uh, I think it came down to one thing, and that's just working closely with the client and getting under the skin of their business and understanding how they operate. And the brief was quite simple from them to create the best office development in the uh, in the northeast. And um, being a tech company, there's a lot of competition up in the northeast. Congratulations, Tony! You are from the Science and Innovation Centre in Hull, though. Science and Innovation Centre in Hull, indeed. Yeah. So I'm the facilities manager. I was the the client sponsor for the project in Hull. So uh, absolutely fabulous, over the moon at winning the award. Really well done. And what's it meant for your business then? I mean, when we when we visited, that 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 feeling of innovation and coming together from the different parts of the business came across. But what's it meant on the ground? Absolutely. I mean, the workforce has been transformed. Unfortunately, a lot of the workforce are working from home at the moment. But um, prior to lockdown, the workforce had been transformed in the way in which they're working. You saw on the visit the amount of collaboration spaces and innovation spaces that we've introduced to the workspace as a product of this. And they've really, really brought the R&D business to the fore and they're helping deliver some of our really ambitious goals that we've got for, for R&D. Congratulations, Basil. Yeah, thanks very much. Really appreciate it. Not at all. What made you want to achieve such an innovative approach with that holistic sustainability, not just environmental, but really playing into the local community? Yeah, it's really it's a key part of our ethos as a, as a firm since we set up the business nearly a decade ago. It was really on the basis of how do we um, push uh, innovation in the built environment and not only environmental innovation, but social innovation. And for us, the, the exciting thing in the day to day job is, is where the, the intersection between the E and the S happens. And, uh, and I think that's where, where a lot of, uh, where a lot of uh, innovation actually is yet to be um, achieved in the industry.